Hey, I'm Jay from Tesseract. I'm going to talk to you about my symbols, why I've chosen them. Uh, the first one I'd like to talk about, it's actually two symbols, it's my hi-hats. And they're 15 inch extra dry, Byzance 15 inch extra dry, medium thin hats. And the reason I like these, first of all, I, like, I just like 15 inch hi-hats, I always have. Um, these ones are recommended to me actually by my reps at Minel. In fact, all of them were in, in the first place. But these ones, they're nice and thin, which I prefer the sound of kind of thinner cymbals overall. But these ones are nice and thin. And the, the pedal hat sound, I use my pedal hat quite a lot. And that sound between, uh, with these hi-hats is just fantastic and it cuts through the mix for me. That's why I landed on these originally. But over this side, I have Foundry Reserve hats, which are also 15s. And I like both of them the same. They're both beautiful, but something about these ones over here just suited my style of playing more so than the Foundry Reserves. This one over here, the Byzance 18 inch extra dry thin crash. And this is my, uh, my accident crash. So I'm hitting this mostly with my left hand uh, when I'm flying around the kit, hitting a million cymbals. This is the one that my left hand connects with. And for this, I just want a kind of a nice, fast, a kind of open crash, I suppose, but without it being super heavy. Like I said a minute ago, I don't like really thick cymbals. This is another thin one, and it's super, super musical. It doesn't kill a mix, um, probably because it's a, it's a dry crash. Um, but again, it's just another beautiful cymbal, and you should get one. This one over here, a bit loud. Byzance 18 inch extra thin hammered crash. Uh, again, it's another accent crash for me, so it's mainly a left hander, but I do use this one occasionally for kind of riding out on sections that have got a little bit more energy. Um, and this one works really well because my main crash over here is a 22, I'll talk about that in a second, but being an 18, it's, it's a little faster, it definitely projects, it cuts a little bit more than this guy up here, and it's just a really good choice, a really good musical choice within the context of the other symbols in my kit. The little splash down here is a Byzance 10 inch vintage splash, and Historically, I've been an 8-inch splash guy. I chose this one because I was given a load of splashes for a recording session that I did with Tesseract, and this one just sounded amazing in the mix. Out of all of them, all of them sounded great, but this one was just a little level above. It's a vintage splash, like this is a vintage crash up here, um, and it, again, it's really, really thin. Big fan of thin cymbals. It's fast, it's fantastic. I love it. This is a Byzance 22 inch vintage crash and it is the best crash ever created by anyone ever. This was something I tried on Tesseract's fifth album. Didn't honestly think I'd end up with a 22 inch crash because I thought it was just too big. It's bigger than my ride, but it just works. It works so well and it, kind of washy, um, which is perfect. I just want to create this kind of soundscape of symbol. I don't necessarily want it to be crazy cutting through the mix, which it can do if you give it some power, if you really hit it. But it creates this nice washy swell of cymbal loveliness. Um, it's my favorite cymbal. It's become my favorite cymbal. My stack is a Byzance uh, 16 inch trash crash. And on the bottom, it's a 12 inch pure alloy uh, trash china. And this was a, a little bit of a gamble at first. Um, these, were two, these two cymbals were sent out to me to try as an option for, for my stack, for my main stack. And I tried a couple of different combinations, flipping them. Uh, I used to have the crash upside down, which destroys your sticks. But this way round, it doesn't. It lasts quite a long time, and it sounds absolutely amazing. The previous stacks that I've had on previous Tesseract albums and used live, we've had to have a, uh, a microphone on them because they haven't been loud enough and projected enough. This one here, this combination, we don't need that, we're just using overheads. Um, we can put a, a stack mic on it if we need to, just to raise the volume a little bit, but we generally don't need it. Really nice and loud, fast, uh, fast decay on it as well, it doesn't last absolutely ages. It just really works in the mix for what we do. The Byzance 21 inch polyphonic ride is an absolutely wonderful ride. I again was recommended this by the lovely people at Meinl when I was choosing my setup and it, it's just wonderful. It, it's, it's crashable, which is fantastic, but it's also just got that amazing 
that per perfect ride sound. Well, you know, what does that even sound like? But it is the perfect ride sound. The bell is loud. It's big enough to hit because my previous ride, I'd be playing in the dark, you know, at shows, and I'd miss the bell. I'd always hit where the felt is, um, or just completely miss the bell. So this thing, I'm never never missing the bell. Always hitting it because it's massive, and it just sounds wonderful. This is a 20-inch Byzance Equilibrium China. It's Matt Garska's signature China, and it's fantastic. It's how a China should sound, and it's how I would ask Lionel to make a China sound if I was designing a China. So, it's fantastic. Go and listen to it on the new Tesseract record. Go and listen to it on any of our um, uh, recent live videos. It's amazing, it cuts through. And the crazy thing actually about this is that it doesn't completely overkill a mix like some Chinas can. It cuts, and it, but it just sits really nicely in a mix. And I think that's something to do with the, like the sand, sanded finish on it, if that makes sense. Same as these two here. It's got that warmth to it that you don't find in a lot of Chinas, um, but this guy works. So that's my setup. I hope you like the look and the sound of it. Thanks for watching.